we thought we would make a video about the equipment that we're using since I did promise that in one of the first videos, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> Uh, what we're gonna show you today is like the two main cameras we bring out with us. Now I have a different camera that I use in my pet and portrait studio uh, that I've used a little bit here on these settings, but we generally gravitate towards these two cameras and I'll tell you what they are. Let me take this belt off too. <laughs> I'm still kind of pumped up from all the hair and it was so pretty. Okay, so the camera that I'm using is the Sony A9 II, and I've got the Sony G Master 200 to 600mm lens on here. Steve, what do you have? I have the Sony A7R Mark IV, which I really like shooting, mostly because I can zoom in quite a bit. Crop in? Crop in yeah. on, on the photos. And there's no blackouts right. on your frames. Okay, so there's no blackouts on this one either? No. Oh, okay. Uh, so what we mean, let, uh, we're going to... I think there is. Let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to... A little, little excited this morning. I know. Or we're just going to, like, digress just a little bit. I just want to tell you the differences between these two, and I actually have notes. And I lost my pen. Okay. Uh, so the biggest difference is, for us, like, for our kind of shooting, because we do a lot of wildlife, a little landscape, nature, those kind of things. Uh, so we got the A9 II a couple of years ago, and we got the A7R4 just like six months ago. Probably. Yeah, yeah. about six months ago. Christmas time. Chris yeah. And so the A9 II, even though it's only 24 megapixels, the high shooting frame rate, you can get up to 20 frames per second shooting stills. And the focus tracking is incredible. And so and no blackout. So what we mean by blackout is between photos, you don't get that little black screen in the EVF. So we love that. You can just kind of keep shooting almost like video. So love that about the A9 II. And that was kind of the main reason we got it, yeah. right? Uh, the that really the high frame rate. The high frame rate and the autofocus tracking is just, just really, really, really spot on. And then we got the A7R4 because... I do birds a lot, wildlife and I can crop in a lot on 61 megapixels. Yeah, 61 pixels. fairly sharp. Yes, so. so that's huge. That's almost three times more megapixels than this one. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How have you liked this one so far? Um, I like it quite a bit. Like I said, the one you can crop in a huge amount and the other, uh, well, it's got, I think it also has 20 frames per second because I do a lot of, uh, continuous focus between that. Um, I don't get that. I generally don't get that speed, but I still get pretty, pretty good frame rates. Nope. You and get, again, you get 10 frames per second. Oh, they're still nice. You get 10, <laughs> I get 20. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it's nice. It um, seems like plenty. It's, it's plenty. It's plenty. It's okay. plenty. And then again, no blackouts. So when I'm tracking birds in flight, I can track them. And the tracking is amazing. I think one thing we found with the herons this morning was that it's such high megapixel, we really need to upgrade the SD cards because it has to buffer. Um, yeah, well, this was with a high speed, uh, 300 uh, megabits per second saving rate. And I, I still had like 30 frames buffering at oh times. My gosh. So yeah. uh, what it would be with a slower uh, SD card, Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to think about that. Let me let me give you the quick rundown of kind of the differences really quick. So the A92 is 24 megapixels. It's got a higher ISO. The viewfinder isn't as high resolution, the EVF. It does have the 20 frames per second still shooting. And you can do 120 FPS for video, which you could do slow-mo. It has 693 focus points. 
And the difference on the A7R4 at 61 pickles, the ISO doesn't go quite as high, but the viewfinder has almost twice as high of resolution, 10 frames per second. But you kind of figure that's gonna happen because they're such big pictures. Um, a couple fewer focus points, but the viewfinder is really, really nice. Um, and no anti-aliasing filter. Was that a consideration for you? Not really. No, um, that's kind of a landscape thing. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's kind of a selling point on this one, but it wasn't a big deal for us. Um, the same thing about them. They both are pretty weather sealed for Sony's. <laughs> um, they both have two C uh, SD card slots and they both have really good eye tracking. Did you, have you tried the eye tracking much? Um, no, not much. Yeah. The, the birds. They're kind of far away. Yeah. They're yeah. just too far away for that to work. You, you need, need to have the critters fairly close before you do True. before that works. Yeah. So. Right. So my, the camera I use in my studio is A7R3, and I have tracking on for people and pets, and it's really good. So yeah. once the birds get close, or any animals, you're good. Oh, and they take the same lens. They're both E-mount lens. So these are the exact same lenses here, the 200 to 600, and we can swap them whenever we want. So we can share all of our gear. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. Part of the main differences people go for one versus the other is that this, the A92 is really geared towards sports and high action. And then the A7R4 with that high megapixel is for more high resolution. So it's kind of, it's marketed to landscape and portrait, but I think we're making it work really, really well. Yes. <laughs> for wildlife, <laughs> for sure. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, also, they're both kind of the same size, the same weight, the whole thing. I have my my spider holster that I, I put this on, and I could carry it around a little bit because this was a short trail, but otherwise, I, yeah, you know. it's pretty heavy. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty heavy, but it's so, so worth it. What do you think overall? Overall, I like them a lot. They, they, uh, well, one of the reasons we went with Sony's is because they were early in getting the new technologies. Um, so Canon and Nikon are both kind of playing catch up at this point. And yeah, they may be a little bit better, but not enough to make a switch. Yeah. I don't think. Um, well, okay, a little history too. <laughs> okay, for 30 years you shot Canon, Canon. and Canon. for probably 20, 30 years I shot Nikon, and I switched over a couple, two, three years ago, and you did, well, about the same time. Yeah, about, a, yeah, about 18 months ago. Yeah. Probably, yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing that's really nice about having two pretty good bo camera bodies when we're out like this is that Steve uses his so much differently. Like he, oh, shooting styles are our very shooting different. Style, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we shoot really differently. We um, we put all of our presets in here differently. Uh, you know, yeah, what her, do you, her her camera looks like a foreign land to me. I, it's a language <laughs> I don't understand. So I tend to shoot a lot on all manual. You tend to shoot. What do you got it on? Oh, you got I'm, it on. I'm manual. doing manual too, more and more. But again, different ISOs, different uh, yeah uh, shutter speeds. Yeah. Uh, I'm more it's willing just... to go high ISO, which is great for the A92. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got a mosquito. Yeah. So. Um, and so it's really hard to switch cameras. So that's why I almost always have the A92 and he almost always has the A7R4 because we're set up so different. <laughs> yeah. It's almost impossible to trade them. Yes. Okay. Let's, let's see. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even want to. I, I would no. have to start changing settings almost right away. <laughs> So, not gonna happen not nope. gonna happen <laughs> uh, so overall i think they're both excellent excellent cameras they're both excellent for uh, landscape and wildlife i can't crop in as high on this so if i was trying to do pro level cropped in bird photos i'd have a hard time i think uh but for what i'm doing like for social media for the most part and photos in our home it's fine. The 24 megapixels is just fine. I've been a working pro for a long time and my first pro camera for portraits was 24 megapixels. So I'm used to it. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's good enough for most uh, applications. Yeah. 24 pixels. You can, you can get quite a large uh, print 
You can. Oh, so 24 mega for a Yeah. Mega pixels. Mega, pic mega pickles. Mega pickles. Mega yeah. pickles. <laughs> but it is really, really nice to be able to crop in on this one. Yeah. 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 It's not like, that's not the same look, of course, but it is really nice to be able to do that. So overall, we're really happy. If like, if you're considering a Sony camera right now, you can't go wrong. No. With either one of these, if you're shooting landscape or wildlife or nature, I really think you can't go wrong with either one of these. Oh, there is a pretty big price difference. I can't yeah. remember what the price well, difference is. More importantly, the A1 has come out. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we want the Sony A1 for we, sure. We may but, have to play with that. But talk about a price difference. Yes. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> um, so I will look up the prices and put them somewhere here on the screen for you. So that's a consideration, too. But overall, these are both excellent, excellent cameras for uh, photos and actually for video. So we're happy with them. Yep. And that, so that's just kind of a brief overview of the main equipment that we use doing this kind of photography and what you've seen mostly on this channel. Yeah? Yes. Have you, you been happy with the switch? Do you miss Canon? Um, a little bit, maybe. No. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. <laughs> no, Canon and Nikon are really, really good too. We just don't shoot with them, so we can't speak to that. But I've been very happy with this. Yes. Yes. Of course, if you have any questions, you can type them in the comments and we'll see them. Right, babe? She'll see them, yes. Oh. <laughs> I'll see them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thanks for coming out and about in uh, Colorado on this beautiful day with us. And check out some of our other videos. The one right before this was the herons out here. Ah, so, so great. Yes. And we have a lot of adventures yet to come. So. Oh yeah. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do that. Come on, grab your camera. I don't know what we're missing, but we're gotta be missing something. Let's go. We're always missing. Come on, let's go, get it. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, let's go. Come on, honey, let's go. We're going, we're going. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome with the heron rookery. Yes. I really, really hope you saw the last video where we have the herons at sunrise. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, this light is amazing. Like, I've got chills right now. I still love you. Love you too. Just oh. don't touch my camera. Don't touch my camera. <laughs> <laughs> you saw a heron, didn't you? <laughs>